one of the stars of this slate is Cameron Artis Payne. For some reason, his his salary went down last week. It's seventeen dollars now. He played sixty five percent of the snaps. He had twelve carries and eight targets. And I think that he has the best role of any running back in the XFL right now. Uh, so I think all the Houston guys should be at the top of our list. But Cameron Artis Payne once you consider the position, might be my favorite play of anybody here, despite the fact that I'll be playing alongside a backup quarterback in Philip Nelson. Am I getting a bit too high on Cameron Artis Payne, or are you on the same page there? No, I rank him like near the top. Uh, I think in there you said he might be your favorite play on the slate when you consider the position. He's up, he's up there, yeah. I'd still put Walker there, uh, okay. just because of the replacement options, but... Uh, paint uh, artist paint is one of my favorite plays for sure uh, the usage has been great his average snap rates almost 70 percent the past three weeks Lance Dunbar's mixing in he's the same price but uh, both are getting involved enough in this offense which really throws to like the tight end and uses the running backs a right. lot doesn't really use the receivers which is just another reason why there's not a whole lot of uh, strong receiver plays on this slate so uh, Cameron artist Payne, I think the number one play in this in this particular game mm-hmm. uh, but if you do if you do want to go for it and play Walker with Phillips, make that stack, and then play Cameron Artis Payne, you have thirteen dollars for your That's final doable. three. It's doable. You're gonna kind of like grimace. You're gonna squint for maybe one or two of your your options, but I think that's a really high floor. This I think almost punting for three right. of your positions. I think that's that's a lineup where someone like Jake Powell becomes really viable. Yeah. So I'd be on board with that. 